Cam. Um, today, because I couldn't split the stream yesterday, we're going to be doing a bit of a longer stream today. Alright. So we're going to do a bit of a longer stream today. We're going to be relaxing, having some fun, though. Um, everything should be working out perfectly normal. <laughs> but, my game plan for today, it's a stupid game plan, but it's funny at the same time. Alright? So, first off, I got this. this and then I can do this I'm making myself progressively smaller perfect okay now I have this set up properly I should say uh -huh. so yeah today we're going to be playing some more thunder and look what we have a new plane the p400 a new plane. <laughs> uh, I, I'm gonna be do, I'm gonna be grinding this plane out as well as uh, just in general. So we can say goodbye to the SBD three for now, and we're gonna say hello to the P four hundred for a few battles. All right, guys. Now I know everyone likes to use the um, SBD, but we are not gonna be worried about that right now. Okay. Because right now, we got this thing. And I've already flown a, flown this thing around a couple times, and dear God, is it, it does it handle amazing. Th this thing is like the Mustang before the Mustang for handling, if that makes any sense. Like, hell, I'll just show you what I mean by this thing is the Mustang before the Mustang with uh, handling. Like, th this thing, just in general... Is crazy to fly. And yeah, it ain't no tail dragger. So you have to actually, you know, properly gas it up and not crash it right into the ground. Huh. It ain't Wednesday anymore, but this is the new plane that I've uh, acquired from illegal means, to say the least. You know, I might have just stole this. But look what we have. We have the power of guns. Yep, this thing is definitely interesting for handling, though. I could definitely use and abuse this thing for some dog fights. Okay, so... Top speed of 534 kilometers an hour. I can get a 500 pound bomb on it. It's not as powerful as my 1000. I can get one. This thing has a 20 millimeter auto cannon on it. That can literally penetrate through the side of, um, I think it's a Panzer III. This thing can penetrate the side of a Panzer III with its 20 millimeter gun. It's broken. <laughs> Oh no, our P400, it's broken. It's 2.3 in, in the American tree. Now here's the best part. Unlike my SBD, I can comfortably fly this thing vertically. And I can comfortably do this. You know, just extra, extra casual, you know. I'm not even worried, you wanna know why? Because this thing has such good handling. This thing is a lot better at handling. Oh, that's the idea. And look how low, like, like, here's the thing. I feel a lot more comfortable flying the P400. Like, I've never used it in battles before because, like, I wasn't super good with it. But then I started getting used to it, and I'm just like, ah, yes, it's time to eliminate the fucking middle class. Like, this thing's also going to be good to counter anti-air because of one reason. I can go straight up. I can flip the plane, and then I can be like, ah, oh, yes, hello, Mr. Anti-Air. Yeah, this is what my guns can do. Granted, I no longer have any rounds for my cannon, but 
you know, it's still fucking great. Oh, you want to see something cool? Give me one second. I'm going to just uh, run over here to this enemy area over here and just destroy something real quick. But then I'll do something cool. I've, I've done this multiple times. And it's, it's terrifying to do, but, you know, it's pretty dope at the same time. All right. Tank in the open. Full power. Easy. Easy kill. Now, you want to know what's fun about this plane? It can glide. This thing is a glider. Not really, but you get the idea. It can glide. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scare you for a minute. <laughs> Oh, are you ready to see something cool? You see those silos right in front of me? Yeah, we're gonna fly in between them. Uh, we went... Okay, <sighs> can someone explain to me how I go, like, sideways, and I somehow manage to clip, like, the tiniest little thing, and it blows up the whole fucking plane? But yeah, this is the P-400. It goes... Brat. <laughs> the definition of America. Yeah, maybe. But I was able to do it before with this plane. But regardless... Turn to hangar, there we go. But that's, oh, by the way, I love this splash screen that Gaijin made. I love it. I fucking love that splash screen. I don't know why. Like, my favorite splash screen of all time in this game. Well, here's the thing. I love, uh, the thing is, too, I love this plane. And right now, for aviation, alright, I'm currently researching this little fucker. The TBF-1C. The, this the, this little thing, you know, just this fucking tiny ass thing. But here's the thing, it can drop four or five hundred pound bombs. Four of them. And then once that's done, I'm... Hmm. I'm debating, should I go with the P-39? Because I really want to get the P-38, because I love the P-38. So it's a fucking great plane. Or should I go for the A-36, because that's also like one of my favorite planes in the game. I love the A-36, like it's a very good plane. And plus, you can get, you know, fucking nukes on it. Like, some of my favorite planes in the game. Fun fact. So, if you're wondering, because, like, yeah, I can. But here's the best part, right? So, if, if you guys ever are wondering what my favorite planes in this game are, right? Granted, I'm taking sort of stuff from my other account as well, because I do have another account that's just focused on aviation, but I don't use it too much anymore, because I forgot the password for it. But some of my favorite planes in this game that I've ever played is the P-38, especially the G-1. So the G-1 of the P-38, the P-400, and the A-36. That is my go-to lineup to fuck shit up with in air. But on my ground account, which is the, also my streaming account, you know, I don't really get that option to go air s super often. But slowly but surely, I'll eventually get this, and I can start mainly researching on the A36. That's my next thing up that I want to get. And then I want to grab my P39 and then P38, but... It's not bad. I mean, like, you gotta remember, though, I also did a lot of the SBD. The, I also, here's the thing, I, originally I never liked the, here's the thing, originally, like, when I, I did, like, the, oh, god, hair, okay. <laughs> but originally, 
I never liked the SPD, because I always found it slow and unmaneuverable. Yet I found that now to be an advantage. But with the P400 back in my ranks, the enemies are gonna feel my fucking fury. Especially when I get my fucking bombs. Because here's the thing. I was able to turn this motherfucker right here into a fucking Stuka. That's my, that's my secret power. I can turn this thing into a fucking Stuka bomber. Yeah, I mean, this thing goes at 534. Its max height is 2,400 meters. Max health in general is 9,500. Well, at height. Oh, bleh, whatever the fuck. It only takes 24 seconds to turn. Rate of climb, 6.9 meters a second, and then turn, take off, run, 320 meters. This thing is just straight up fucking power. Th this thing describes America. Well, here's the thing. They designed it because I'm pretty sure with most of their planes, they also made like a naval version of them. That I'll, they have a tow hook, so like for the F4s, right? If I go to here, I'm pretty sure this one... This one's a tail dragger, but you get the idea, like. Like, like, for example, if we go to the P-40 F-10. Oh, my God. Another tail dragger. Okay, whatever. But, like, they made all of these planes, like, differently, but, eh. They're still fun planes. They'll never get old. I love this plane, though. Because I remember, when I got the plane on my, air, in my, on my aircraft account, right? I fucking popped with this thing. Like, I was able to fucking get right into the grooves and just fucking pop off of this thing. I loved it. And I love it still. Because, I mean, think of this. Look at that. Look how cool that looks. It looks so dope. Maybe, but... All I'm saying, man, I love this plane because of one fucking reason. It goes E. You can't, Here's the thing. I have out-turned and out-dogfight, well, dog-fought, I guess, a BF-109 in this motherfucker. I have beaten planes that this thing should not be able to beat in this plane. I've beaten Spitfires in this thing. I, I, I feel like if I ever... If I ever get one of these in real life, I'm gonna fucking conquer the world. <laughs> Just get one of these in real life and I'll conquer the fucking universe. Just all you'll see is one P400 just slowly flying around, just tactically destroying everything that it looks at. <laughs> Speaking of looking at stuff, I'm gonna make this thing funny because I, I remember making this thing funny as hell. <laughs> Average, no. I'm Canadian. So, no. And don't worry. No, here's the thing. This thing, on my aircraft account, I can't fucking log into it because I forgot the password to it a long time ago. But with this fucker right here, I have outfought fucking BF 109s. I have outfought Swedish aircraft. I fucking have out fucking fought anything I come across. Like this thing is stupidly powerful. Yeah, but here's the thing, average. We only we only let you guys do that because we were polite. If we weren't polite, you know, we, we, you would have, you would have, you know, you would have seen the warrior half of Canada, aka, literally, look, World War One, World War Two, Canada was eat. <laughs> Canada committed, ah, yes, you dare fuck with us, you're dead. Oh, I don't have bombs on this account for this thing, but oh my god. I, if I had my 500 pound bomb on the bottom of this thing, I would fucking stuka bomb this shit. Oh, I've turn fought with this thing. I fucking... Oh, here's the best part. I've gone straight under a bomber and just shot out every individual engine on a bomber with this thing before. Like, 
And I'm not saying I'm like the most skilled pilot in the world. I'm just saying in this thing, I become someone completely and utterly different. I become a tryhard with this thing. Cause I mean, look, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fucking guns in this motherfucker. And yeah, no, I know, but here's the thing. We were only polite. And then wars happened. And then we said, fuck you, you're gonna die. But, anyway. I'm hitting the go into battle button. I'm going to tactically eliminate the enemy. I haven't, but I'd love to try it. It's a 20 millimeter, but th this thing, the plane is terrifying. The, the thing that I'm using as an aircraft is fucking terrifying, I will say that. It puts the fear of God into anything. It only costs 400 and fucking 80, so it's cheaper than my SBD. But like, here's the best part. I will say this: my that plane is crazy though. That that plane is 120% crazy. And if I can fucking get it, then I will destroy the uh, whole existence. I I will I will destroy the entire world of existence with that fucking P400. I swear to God, if I can get in that P400 near the start, they're gonna feel the pain and the wrath of the P400. Yeah, I'm capturing C right now, boy. Alright, lads, capturing C, capturing C. Zone captured on C. I'm gonna push into a little hidey hole area on the trees over here. Got two times hit, two X hit, nice. Five X hit, that's not bad. Another five X hit. All right, and now it's just a matter of waiting until I see something else besides a fucking SMK. Fuck dealing with an SMK. I refuse to deal with SMK. I average. Have a great night then, man. Glad to see you came up. Glad to see you coming up to the stream, man. Alright, man. Where are these enemies at? I could definitely pull off some crazy fucking flank. Try at least. <laughs> Don't worry. I had that happen to me at least 20 times in the past, like, little bit of my life. So don't you worry, I know exactly how you feel. Wait, is that a fucking IS? No, that's KB5, okay. Oh well. I might have enough to actually spawn in that plane. Alright. You know what time it is, lads. <sighs> you know what time it is. Let's show them who's the boss around here. Enemy kill assist, that's going to help us out later on. All 
Calm out, boys. Calm out. Did some altitude on these guys. All right, we're going back in for another attack, but we're going to be focusing on the spawn area. Just because I want to be a general... Oh, they have two planes up, though. The HS-129 and I are going to stick together here. So, we're going to have to friggin' risk it for a biscuit. Okay. Frame rate drops exist. That's not healthy. Cannon out of ammo, okay, cannon is out of ammo. Mm. Don't want to get too greedy. Somebody, I have a plan to get out of here quick, just in case I need to get out of here quick. Alright, level her off plane. Leave you running at a hundred so we can get back to the base. Check the map. Alright, we're going decently quick. Bring you down to about sixty percent, that should be fine. For um, power. Okay, okay, that should be fine. I'm gonna. This motherfucker just shot at me. You really want to play that game, buddy? Okay. I need to really focus on getting back to the base now. Alright, bring her back around. We're going in for immediate landing. This ain't no tail dragger though, so I gotta be a bit careful with her. Alright, we're gonna bring her in for a nice landing. That should be. F I fucked her. I fucked up the landing with this thing. If I'm used to landing the friggin' SBD. Oh well. She'll be fixed. <laughs> we might not have a prop, but we landed the fucking plane. And just slap a new prop propeller on there. Won't be too hard to do. Huh. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, aircraft is, is fixed. Aircraft's fixed. Let's go fuck them up a little bit then. Power it up. Get that weps. Get that weapon ice speed going. Nice. Flaps up, gear up. Let's get a little bit of power up and then we'll move over to the area and help either destroy aircraft or focus on ground targets. Just see what happens, though. That's one thing I know for sure. Okay, that's a lot of fire coming that from that direction there. Hello, Chara. How you doing tonight? I'm flying my P400 and I'm fucking things over. Victory climb. <laughs> well, that's good to hear. Welcome to whatever the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> All right, P400. Let's let's take some ass. Point where the enemies are, and I'll fucking destroy them with this fucker. Huh? <laughs> Some turn this thing into a goddamn Stuka. Never mind. <laughs> I see you have your emotes and everything. Nice, nice. It's not bad though. That's the match. That was a uh, semi-normal match. So what is the research looking like, Tom? Okay. Two sludge. Uh, I'm all with that. Yeah, I'm going to be going for this thing soon. The FMBC MK1. Oh, really? Really, must I put one of my own emotes in chat? <laughs> I might. I might have to just do that. Ha! I have them too! Who? <laughs> Behold the power of the Ram 2. The one tank that bounces fucking anything in this godforsaken game. I swear. Quick, quick talk real quick though. I've bounced KV-2 shells in this motherfucker. I have bounced Tiger One shells in this motherfucker. I have bounced anything and everything you can probably think of in this thing, except for like anything above like 6.0. That I haven't bounced. That, 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 after that, just, I don't play up to that point with this thing yet. But I have literally bounced so many things with this tank. It's crazy. <laughs> Hence, like, here's the thing I even have a nickname for the Ram 2 in this game. The bounce, like you, you, nothing gets through it. It just bounces anything. That's the sad part about it, though. It bounces everything, yet no one fucking gets it because they're like, "Oh, it's a Canadian tank." Me, ha, I'm Canadian. I base my fucking avatar off it, and I murder people with it anymore. Fucking war thunder. Let's fucking go. <laughs> but yeah, no P400, very fun plane, especially when I have to deal with anti-airs and shit. Nice. Good to hear. But yeah, so I have this motherfucker. My favorite tank in the game. I also have my favorite aircraft in the game, being the P400. And I have my favorite trolling tank in the game all in one fucking lineup. You know what is gonna happen when I start getting, like, my old skill with the P400 and the fucking bomb back. I'm gonna be stuka bombing everything. Um, send it to me in Discord if you have me on Discord. I can 
uh, watch it later on tonight. Like, here's the thing. Once I get the bomb for the P400, because I, I have a separate account for only doing aircraft stuff, right? And I will say this. America, American and Russian planes are by far the best planes in this damn game. I don't care what anyone else says, that's just my personal opinion. Those two, those two countries, are fucking best planes in the game. I I will check that out here uh, after streaming and everything. But yeah, no. And here's the best part, right? And this this is my favorite part of this whole sort of plane that you see in front of you. And here's the thing: if I can get if I can get my A36 and everything too. Because by the way, I also lo I also love the A36. It is a very good plane. Because first off, you have six fucking machine guns, and then you know you can get more, or you can get nuclear fucking bombs, basically. Being two 500 pound bombs, like you know, just casually getting a bunch of fucking bombs. The one thing I will say, though, I don't really like the American bombers, as I more like to play along the lines of, like, oh, it's a fighter that has bombing capabilities. If that makes any sense. That's the kind of thing that I play at. But that's just me. But I know they have a fucking weird-ass combined American fighter that I have to find those. Like the, it's like the F-80-something. I know that. It's like the F-82. Yeah, this one, actually. Right here. Yeah, this motherfucker I love as well. I've only ever gotten it once. And that's on my plane account. And this motherfucker is a meme. This is the definition of a fucking meme launcher. Because, you know, you have fucking six machine guns that say, fuck you, you're dead. But here's the best part. You can upgrade them to be 12.7 millimeters. And you can get more guns. And more guns. This thing is just a... This thing is just an A-10 Warthog, but midget. <laughs> Speaking of the A-10, I want them to add the A-10 and the War Thunder for the memes of it. Meh. But yeah, so, American memes. I have my meme fucking setup. Literally being the Ram 2, the M-22, and now the P-400. You know you fucked up when. <laughs> Oh, oh, good map for the P400. I know what I'm going to try to get soon. The P400 for SP and they're going to get fucked. I'm sorry if I go a lot about the P400 a lot, but I have some very good memories of that plane on my other account and everything. Because I think my best game with the P400 was knocking out five enemy tanks and then seven enemy planes. Yeah, you know I love the P400 when, you know, in another game, I pulled off, like, oh. It's like one of those where you have to, like, um, drop bombs on ground targets as well as, like, deal with the enemy planes. Yeah, the P400 for that is amazing. Because, you know, you just freaking drop your bomb, destroy, like, two or three planes, and you fly back to base, get your next bomb, kill, like, three targets, kill two or three planes, and then you get the last bomb and last kill at the end. That's why I love the P400. It is versatile. It is one of the most versatile planes in this goddamn game, and I fucking love it for that. And if anyone else, uh, if anyone ever fucking says the P400 sucks, I will gladly debate them on that statement. I swear to God, I will gladly debate them on that statement. I will prove that P400 is actually fucking amazing because it is. Also, oh God, what the fuck? Okay. So we have America, America, and America, basically, versus Germany, Russia, Japan, and Italy. And yes, I called France America because they literally have most of their tree at this point. Actually, no, France, yeah. But China is literally mostly America and Russia at this point as well. So, you know, America slash Russia Jr. Ah, this game. It makes me pissed. <laughs> Hello, enemy tanks. Do you exist anywhere around me? No? 
Okay. <laughs> Me just casually making sure there's no enemy tanks around, just driving out over here, just like do 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 do. I missed. Fuck. Alright. That's the sad thing about the Ram, too. It's like playing a giant game of tactical paintball, though, at longer ranges. But it's still a good tank to have fun with. Tactical fucking paintball my ass. <laughs> Never mind, it's still it's still a sponge cake. Especially side on, it's still a fucking sponge cake. And I don't have enough for it yet. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. I can go with the M22, I can just scoot around the battlefield massacring innocent people. That's okay. And then I can also get the M4, but eh. M4 is just a standard American tank. Buddy, can you not fire your fucking stupid ass gun at me, you dumbass? Like, Jesus. Don't waste your ammo. Conserve it. Be smart with your ammo. Don't be dumb. Because if you're dumb with your ammo, you're going to get fucked. And if you get fucked, you're going to die. And if you die, you're going to be ashamed. So where are the enemies over here? I know there's gonna be like a couple. There's gotta be a couple around here somewhere. Aha! No. Maybe around. Oh, apparently there fucking was one right around over here. No, it's just hiding away like a little bitch. Oh well. Eh, most most people do that anyway in this game. They hide away like a little bitch and don't take the fucking shells like a man. Take it right to the face and don't fucking die. Bro, I swear, I, lo I love playing this game because I can get my, like, all my rage out of the day. Bro, I swear, I almost got T-boned twice today. I literally almost got T-boned twice today. When I was driving around. Oh, wow. Same map. <sighs> I'm gonna just go all the way around and just uh, see what happens. And it's also at 4.7 again, because this game does not know how to give me a proper fucking game. Or match, or whatever the fuck. Huh. <laughs> at least we have... Oh, it's literally the exact opposite of what we had last time, except Russia is still on the other side. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go the safe road and just say, go with the majority of your team. Because they got to know something about something, right? they got to be at least somewhat competent. Not really. Holy fuck, people. Learn to fucking drive. Beep, beep. Move out of the fucking way, you stug. And of course, the stug caused me to get trapped. Well, this is my life now.
Let's see how long it takes my team to actually fucking realize I'm stuck. Oh, actually, wait, I'm just... I can just grind my tracks down and it'll slide me right off. Okay, that works too. Never fucking mind. You see, grinding your tracks is apparently a healthy thing. Not really. You know what's funny though? I have. This might sound like a weird thing to say, like mid War Thunder stream, what have you. Like, I've never seen another actual, like, tank base. Like, I mean, like, is an actual tank kind of uh, concept as a VTuber before. And I could be completely wrong, too. There could be someone I just haven't fucking noticed it yet. But I have never at all seen another, like, tank based VTuber. Like, as in, like, they're based off, like, an actual tank and shit. Like, I just haven't seen that at all. Is that weird that I haven't seen it at all, or what? I just know that I haven't seen it, like, at all at all, so...